Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. I well, still feel pretty confident that the remainder of this week and on into the weekend will be colder than normal. There's even some wet snow in the forecast. Well, there's nothing on Doppler radar. I'm not expecting any uh, weather problems this evening or tonight. Some clouds obviously continue, but they're dry clouds, not producing any precipitation. In fact, time lapse from this afternoon, mostly cloudy. Every now and then, a little bit of sunshine coming through, and actually more clouds than I was anticipating for today, but certainly a much better day than what we had yesterday. So colder than normal this week, the drier air holding on tonight, some wet snow, a little bit of uh, cold rain mixing in on the way for later tomorrow. We'll obviously cover that in more detail in just a second. In downtown Providence right now, brisk and chilly. The actual temperature is 43, but when you throw in that busy northwest wind, it feels like 35. That's the wind chill, though the air is dry. Humidity low at 49%. 39 in Smithfield, mid-40s in Westerly, Newport at 42 and New Bedford coming in with clouds and 45 degrees. Storm from yesterday that gave us the rain and snow on the edge of your TV set. It's really intensified and as a result it's throwing back a shield of gusty wind today along with the cool temperatures. Need to widen out the view to show you our next weather maker. It's still far away across the northern plains. This strip of moisture headed our way. The timing, at least the arrival time, appears to be tomorrow afternoon, especially tomorrow night and probably spilling over into Thursday morning. So dry for this evening. If you're heading out, again, no problems. Partly cloudy, 11 o'clock at 37 degrees. We'll drop down to the uh, upper 20s to low 30s overnight. In fact, even tomorrow morning, we'll start off dry. A slow increase in the cloud cover if you're an early riser. A little bit of sunshine to start, but the clouds will quickly take over 30, 35. And then during the afternoon, especially, say, mid to late day, some wet snow working in. Southern suburbs may have some uh, rain mixing in. Temperature are on the chilly side, only upper 30s. It may struggle to get to 40s, so a colder than normal day. Here it is in more detail for your Wednesday afternoon and looking at wet snow arriving, mixing with some rain and notice temperatures. Now the normal high is about 50 this time of year and we're not even close to that as most of us will probably come in into the upper 30s. Boaters of North Breeze though at light speeds at 5 to 10 miles per hour and out across southeastern Mass a combination of some wet snow and rain and temperatures up upper 30s to low 40s. Now, tomorrow night, as it gets colder, wet snow is likely. Now, usually this time of year, if you're going to get any kind of an accumulation, you have a better chance of that happening at night rather than the daytime. So I would think tomorrow night into early Thursday morning, the better chance of getting some minor accumulation, some leftover snow on Thursday morning as an intensifying storm system pulls away. I mean, we're not talking a huge amount of snow, but the potential is there for minor accumulations. My early thinking right now, later tomorrow night into Thursday morning, would be a coating to up to two inches of snow. Yeah, so yeah, winter hanging on. You can see the cold temperatures all this week. It does dry out by Thursday afternoon, late in the day, setting up a sunny but colder weather Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Daytime highs only up with 30s to low 40s, and nighttime temperatures in the 20s. So it's a chilly week ahead. And again, because of the high sun angle this time of year, when it does snow during the day, it tends to melt on the pavement and stick on the grassy surfaces. So tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night, Thursday morning, the time frame to watch. Okay. Thank you, Tony. Coming up, new